Most headaches are caused by other things, uh, migraine or other types of headache, chronic daily headache. A, a true isolated sinus headache is a little bit rare. It's very easy to point to your, if you've got a headache, it hurts in this area, it's easy to say, oh yeah, it's my sinuses. But oftentimes, if you're having headaches in isolation and no other sinus symptoms, uh, then, you, then it, it may not be a sinus headache. The amount of time that they've had the symptom, I think, is key uh, in sort of figuring out is it going to be science related or is it not. The other thing is, I think, is uh, associated symptoms. You know, most of the time, people with, with true chronic sinus inflammation are going to have other symptoms such as decreased sense of smell or facial pain or, other than, or pressure other than a headache. And typically, the headache is, is localized on the front of the face. Folks with chronic sinus disease do get a lot of headaches and they also have a lot of fatigue. Even folks with allergy might be predisposed to have sinus-related headaches. When we think of a true sinus headache, we think of either inflammation in the nose or sinuses irritating the nerve endings or sometimes pressure changes. And so folks with allergy who have maybe have inflamed openings into their sinuses or narrowed openings, uh, they, they sometimes respond to pressure changes. Uh, and those pressure changes can produce headaches. If they do have true sinus-related headache, then we're mostly going to look at how to help folks with chronic sinus disease. And really the goals of that are improving quality of life, trying to eliminate some of the suffering and some of the fatigue and the daily things that people experience.